Hi everyone, Hannah here. Welcome back to the channel. For anyone that's new, welcome. My name is Hannah. I love all things Disney, Loungefly, Star Wars, Harry Potter, so please do consider liking and subscribing. I have a double Loungefly unboxing today. Now the first one, the second one is from Shop Disney. It's the September Mickey Mouse main attraction from Big Thunder Mountain. So that box is down there. I'm slightly concerned about that box, but I'll get onto that. This one I got from Geek Core. I didn't even realise that they had it for sale. And when I saw it, it was on sale. So, rude not to. It is Lion King theme, hence the Lion King get up today. But I haven't taken this one out of the box. Sometimes when things arrive these days, I will take them out of the box and not have a proper look, but just to kind of make sure it seems okay. This one I've been very restrained with. And I've kept this one in the box, so. There we go, fully open. Box opener down. I'm really excited for this one. Sorry if this is a little bit noisy. Good packaging. Shove that over there. Let's move faster and Simba. I'm going to try and lob this box over there. So, excuse. That went well. Okay, I'm going to quickly get it out of all the packaging so it stops with the rustly noises. Tape, just one bit of tape. Sometimes it has one, sometimes it has two. Material. Oh my goodness. Okay. Go over there. There's a bit of card. Yoink. Paper. Yoink. Backing card. Yoink. It's Mufasa and Simba. I love it. I absolutely love this one. I did have on pre-order the um, Mufasa and Simba backpack from Very Nico, where it was like a blue colour, Mufasa was in the clouds and Simba was looking up. I'm going to be completely honest, I cancelled the pre-order because it had been near a year and typically the week after I cancel my pre-order, they're now available just to ship. So because I have this one now, I don't know if I'm going to still get that one, I'm undecided on that one. but. This one, I do have like a small, probably won't be able to get it there because I've got a couple layers on because it's chilly. A little Simba tattoo just there. So I had to get this backpack and it was on sale. I think I only paid about £55 with shipping for this one. Rude not to. So the front top is Mufasa and then Simba's kind of just looking up at him. Hello. I can't, I'm not going to do Mufasa's voice, that was ridiculous. Apologies. So Mufasa at the top. And then Simba just there looking up at him. And the zipper is Zazu on the zip puller. These parts are probably like a pleather, like a fake leather. But the rest, all this beautiful golden part, is fluffy. Hopefully you'll be able to see what I mean. It's like a really fluffy material, like a soft toy would be. I love it. And then the back. Is there a price on it? No, they don't have to put prices on tags anymore. The back has Mufasa's tail. Oh, don't drop Mufasa. Look at that. I love it. What's the bottom? Plain and brown on the bottom. The same colour that is used for the straps and kind of around of the zip. So I'll do a full 360. I'm just move that tag out of the way. 360 time. And then the Disney and Loungefly tag on the side. I love this one. The only other Lion King one I have is kind of up there. And it's the one where the backpack itself is black. And it's got kind of like the crisscross sort of detail on there. And Simba is asleep on a branch at the front. I'm pretty sure that's the only Lion King one I've got anyway. What? No, I don't have a scar one. For a second then I thought I had a scar one. Hmm, I'm not 100% sure actually. That's bad, isn't it? I don't even know what I've got anymore. So, I'll have a look on the inside. Jam packed full of packaging. Ooh. Trying to chuck it in the box over there. Didn't go in. So, we'll try again. 
went in. Lovely. There's a zip in a pocket. Now, if you've seen my videos before, then you'll know I love an inner pocket, and especially a zip in a pocket. Because they're just more secure. Oh, that didn't go in, that bounced back. I do like this one. No, that didn't go in either. Terrible shot. So, the inner lining, the colour is the same as kind of that tan, like a dark tan, very light brown sort of colour. And it's got in this sort of yellow, Simba and Mufasa in different poses, would you say? We'll say poses. So hopefully it's going to show up okay. And we'll turn it around and show the front as well. What I might do is pop a flash picture up. Voila! Just to show it a bit better because it's not the easiest to see. But there's that beautiful zip pocket as well. I love it. I love the Lion King movie so much. It's one of both mine and Leo, my husband's favourites. So this is a very welcome addition because there are times when he'll be like, what new lounge fly have you had this time? Whereas when I told him it was a Lion King one, he was kind of like, okay, I might be interested in that one. So winner, winner. Okie doke. Disney box. Quickly grab that and then put Mufasa and Simba there. Okay. So the reason I was slightly concerned when this arrived is because normally the shop Disney boxes have that very satisfactory puller, whereas this one's been taped. So does that mean it's been opened? Maybe just came open in transit. It does make me a smidge nervous. So trusty box opener. Now I do have the Minnie Mouse main attraction September Thunder Mountain backpack as well just down there so that we can compare the two I don't have all the ones from the mini collection so far I do have all the ones from the Mickey collection did that open up a mist of it? I think that's opened up hold on a sec I think the puller is still there under the tape I think it is oh no it looks like it had come off okay so I don't want to ah I've got my finger stuck oh no look well I'll wipe that on the blanket. That's a fact. That's a point. Never get your finger stuck inside a box opener. Anywho, it's probably because I'm holding it weirdly. So this is not the best way to open a box, is it? Left-handed when I'm right-handed. Did that work? Kind of. Not really. Right, I'll hold it in the correct hand this time, and we'll give it another slice. That'll do. We're in. That's what we need. Christmas boxes. Something I do like about the Shop Disney boxes. They have the kind of designs on the inside. They've clearly started to use the Christmas ones. And that's all the way in the box. So you could use these to colour if you wanted. If you or your little one is a bit bored. Now there should just be a lounge fly in here. This is quite a big box. Sorry if this bit's a bit loud. I've got to get all the packaging out. slip excuse me a second Throw that down there. look at this big box just for that lounge fly in there right grab this out where am i going to put this box now excuse me one second i'm prepared oh okie doke lovely okay we'll open it up first and then check things like wonky pockets if there's any damage, two bits of tape on this one. Did that even cut through? Aha! Right. Oh, there's three bits of tape on this one. Goodness me. Is that all the tape? I think that's all the tape. What a gem. Okay. You go over there. Oh. Oh, they've taped all the paper as well. Can I get it off very delicately? I don't want to rip the paper. Sorry if it's a bit... There's ear protectors on this one. There's not been ear protectors on all of the others. That's a nice touch. We appreciate an ear protector. Yoink. Fudgy bits. Okay, I'm going to get these off so you can see the ears. 
properly. She says, oh there we go, just need a little bit of coke thin, a little bit. I need a lot of coke thin. Oh, blew my neck, okay. Got these fiddly bits coming off. Right, you sit there. Car in the back. Now we can have a look. Oh dear. It would appear, oh excuse me, it would appear I don't have a wonky pocket. However, I have wonky ears, which I don't believe I've ever seen on a lounge fly before. So if I hold this up as straight as I can, can you see what I mean there by wonky ears? So the pocket looks fine, but then the ears, this ear looks like it's in the middle of the backpack compared to the other one. So this one looks fine. This ear probably needs to kind of shift to there. Do you see what I mean with that? I believe they are still in stock, honestly. Wonky ears, that's bothering me quite a bit, so I'm probably going to ask for a replacement one. Wonky pockets I can sometimes deal with, depending on how wonky they are. I'll put that out there. But that wonky ear, that is bugging me a bit. I think if they just shifted that a couple centimetres that way. Anywho, apart from the wonky ears, the design, it does what it says on the tin. BTM for Big Thunder Mountain on this ear. And then kind of the desert type mountain scene on this ear. The design, it's like cowboy effect really, desert, cowboy cowgirl. There's, oh there's Mickeys! So if I point right there, that little dot looking thing, that's actually a Mickey face. And then you've got BTM for Big Thunder Mountain. Oh I, lo I love that little Mickey detail. What's the bottom? So the bottom is brown, the sides are the same as the frontage and the back see this is something else I'm, I'm not going to say that it's bothering me it's just I like consistency that's my thing it says Walt Disney World 50 there is that just yeah that's printed on whereas some of the other backpacks they haven't had there's been a range of different ones some of them have had the ride name up here some of them have had a character down here one of them had a badge boshed into a pocket one of them had embroidery in the pocket and now there's this kind of slapped on the back slight OCD side of me is one is hoping that they would have just done the same sort of thing for all of them so on the back either have that on all of them have the right name on all of them or both both is good that's just my kind of consistency Woo! don't knock the ears off I do like the kind of very I think that might be denim actually like proper denim for the front pocket very pretty i do really like this one don't get me wrong i do really like this backpack it's the ears anywho there should be a story well maybe not a story the inside of the tag will have i know this part's upside down the walt disney world 50 on there Ahem. excuse me hang on to your ears the Big Thunder Mountain Railroad attraction streaks through a deserted ghost town and long lost mines from the Gold Rush era. The Rip Roaring Ride opened in the Magic Kingdom Park at the Walt Disney World Resort in 1980 and has been taking guests on a high speed rickety adventure through cursed caverns, chiseled canyons and a wistful waterfall ever since. We do really like Big Thunder Mountain as a ride, it's one of those that we do always try and get on if we can. Well, I do very much like this one. So we'll check the inner lining and then I'll grab the mini one that's just down there. To compare the two, the only other one I have from the mini collection are left to come. We've got October on Haunted Mansion, November on Jungle Cruise. I don't have those two, but I do have the mini December one, which was like fireworks. That one's up top there because it's a sequin one. So I will be able to compare the December ones. Oh, oh, this is that paper again that's just covered dust everywhere. This paper feels different to the inner packaging for the Mufasa backpack. It's like that dusty paper that would just crumble. Excuse me, but there's dust everywhere now. 
We're getting there. We are... Oh, this is a very good bit. One bit left. Get out. Oh my word. I don't want to fling it too much because it's that dusty. Okie doke. So the inner lining is the exact same print as this red design on the front, except it's like a brown colour. There's no inner pocket, front or back. Hopefully that's... There we go. So it's the exact same pattern design as the red. So consistency. <clears throat> we do like consistency with those ears. Oh dear me. Okie doke. Mickey main attraction, mini main attraction. So you can tell they are both from Big Thunder Mountain. Mini obviously ha mini has a lot more denim. Mickey has a lot more red. The design on the bow is now the design kind of fully on this. Have I done a 360 of this? Let me quickly do a 360 because I don't know if I've done one. Dear me, Hannah, 360 time. Right up, there we go. Okie doke. So the ear has the track going around there, whereas it's the side on this one, the side. The back on this one doesn't have anything, whereas the back on that one does. The browns actually, like this one is a little bit darker of a brown compared to the other one. And I've just thought of something. I didn't, oh dear me. I never looked inside the tags for the mini ones and there is a story in there as well. I never looked inside the mini tags. Oops. Hang on to your ears, a big Thunder Mountain Railroad sneaks through Desertica. Oh, hold on. Oh, this one says Disneyland. Uh, first opened September the 2nd, 1979 at the Disneyland Park and has been taken. So it's the exact same story except this one says Disneyland. And this one says Disney World. But the story's the same. However, you actually, this is a good point to show the tag difference. So the tags for the mini ones were themed and they had the number, so like 9 of 12. Let me... Okay. So it said 9 of 12 in the top and it was themed. Now, the original price of the mini ones was £65 compared to £78, so it has gone up a bit. This one did get reduced down to £45.49. Whereas the Mickey Main attraction tags are just these generic ones. They're not kind of themed like the mini ones are. And they don't have the numbers on there. So those are the two side by side. Oh, I don't know which I like best. Which one do you like best? Let me know. They're both beautiful. And you can tell that they're both Big Thunder Mountain. Oh, I don't know actually. Minnie might just top it, just because I really do like this big chunky bow that she's got. But both of them are winners. So let me know what you think of these two new lines for in the comments down below. Thank you all so much for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye!